Dude, are you like cheating or something? Is this a fly mod? I can't do it. What am I doing wrong? Does it work on other platforms? Does it work on PSP? What about PS3? How fast do you have to press the buttons? What's the right timing? Well guys, in this video you are finally going to learn how to fly in Tomb Raider Legend and Tomb Raider Anniversary using bug jumps. And I'll be answering all these questions for you. It's kind of hard to believe it's been over 5 years since I made that first bug jump tutorial and then started doing speedruns with them. I have run every level of Tomb Raider Anniversary ever since. I'll leave a playlist in the description with all my updated records if you want to watch them later. Um, and throughout all that time, I have received many questions from you guys, so I decided to make this definitive guide on how to perform bug jumps. To answer your questions and to give you a more detailed step-by-step -step process on how to do it. We're also going to talk about how to increase the game's frame rate to make bug jumps easier. We're going to talk about an alternative method known as the Nippon method, which requires only one set of weapons. You know, is it possible to do? Is it not? Can you injure yourself doing bug jumps? We're going to cover all that, so stick with me. Before we start, throughout this video you'll notice that I'm gonna be using footage from both Tomb Raider Legend and Tomb Raider Anniversary and that's because it works on both games. There are some small differences like the camera behaves a little bit differently on one game versus the other, the speed she moves differs a little bit as well, but they work roughly the same way. Also, these are the PC versions. Like I said, I'm gonna talk about other versions on other platforms later on in the video, so if you play on any platform that isn't PC, don't panic yet, I got you, we'll talk about that too. Alright, let's begin. The very first thing you wanna do is to disable VSync. You can easily do so by opening your Steam library, selecting the game that you want, then you have to click play, then set up, then play again, uncheck enable vsync, click OK and you're good to go. The process is the same for Tomb Raider Anniversary. Now, why are we disabling vsync, you may ask? That's because if vsync were on, it would limit our frame rate and we need high frame rate to do like fast, infinite bug jumps. With VSync on, the frame rate will be locked to 60 FPS or 30 or 23 depending on your settings, and we don't want that. We want around 120 FPS at least. The higher you can go, the better. Now, why did I say infinite bug jumps? That's because you can actually perform bug jumps with VSync on, but you won't be able to do like long chains of fast jumps like the ones you see in my videos, so it's just not a good idea to leave it on. This is what happens when VSync is enabled. As you can see in my FPS counter on the top right corner, the game is running at 60 FPS and it's just very difficult to perform multiple jumps like this. With VSync off, however, you can see that my FPS is around 260 here, which is good enough for bug jumps, so it works perfectly. If disabling VSync is still not enough to raise your frame rate, disabling the other visual effects of the game will probably do it. Just go to Options, then Display, and then you can turn off the visual effects. My FPS was around 350 and now it's around like 720, so if you need a frame rate boost, that should be enough. Cool, now we need to find a good place to practice. If you're playing Tomb Raider Legend, some good places are the Marketplace area in Peru, this area at the beginning of the Kazakhstan level, or the open area in front of the Knight's Tomb in England. Any open area works, really. On Anniversary, you could go to the Valley area, the first hall in St. Francis Folly, or the Egypt section in the Style Units level, which is my favorite one, by the way. You know, it's Egypt, everybody loves Egypt, it's kind of similar to that final area in the Karnak level in Tomb Raider 4, so let's pick this one. Okay, we're all set now. 
As you can see, in the bottom right corner, I'm using a PS3 controller. If you play on PC, but you prefer to use keyboard and mouse instead, don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to do bug jumps with keyboard and mouse later on in the video, but since I've been using a PS3 controller all along and I'm more confident with it, and personally I find it easier to do bug jumps on it, well, we're gonna use it, for the most part. Alright, what we can do to make things simpler is we can go to Options, then Controls, and we're going to switch our combat mode to Advanced Toggle. What this does is it makes it so that we have one less button or key to hold while we're jumping. This is optional, okay? You don't have to do this. This is just so we can make the learning process easier you can, you know, switch back to manual or advanced hold later on if you want to. Alright, back to the game. The first thing that we need to do is to tap L1, or to tap the aim button. And since we're on advanced toggle mode, we don't actually need to worry about holding it, so that's gonna be helpful. Next, we want to choose the direction that we want to go. Usually when we're bug jumping, we want to see where we're going, right? So, we'll go forward. For me, I just hold up on my D-pad. Next, what we want to do is jump, obviously. So, for me, I just tap X to do it. After we jump, we need to switch weapons. In my case, I use right on my D-pad. So, we hold forward, we jump, and then we switch weapons. It looks like this. And finally, we're going to use the grappling hook. Now, the grappling hook standard animation looks like this, right? The cool thing is, we can actually cancel this animation if we double tap the grapple button really quickly. In my case, that's going to be square, so we're just gonna press square twice, like very fast, so... Like this. You can even see that the grappling hook disappears from her back pocket or whatever when we do this. Okay, so we want to do that right after we switch weapons. So, again, tap L1, hold forward, jump, switch weapons, and double tap grapple, like this. And that's basically one bug jump cycle. So, what you can do now is, you can repeat the cycle, so... Now, what's the timing for this? Like, how fast do we need to press these buttons? Well, if you're not, like, too slow, the game is actually quite forgiving, so you can do them, like, slower... Or, once your muscle memory starts working, you can do it faster. It doesn't really matter all that much. As you can see, when we're bug jumping forward like that, Lara gains a lot of height pretty fast. But if you want to cover distance faster and you don't care as much about the height, you can actually do sideways bug jumping. I've configured my controller so that when I hold the triggers, I can actually go sideways. So when I hold the right trigger, I go right. And when I hold the left trigger, I go left. So I can just bug jump sideways. If you really want to move fast, though, you can do backwards bug jumping. For me, I hold R1 to move backwards, and then I just repeat the whole process. By the way, this is the fastest way that you can move in Tomb Raider Anniversary. Once you get the hang of it, you can actually mix directions. So, for example, you can go forward and to the right, you can go forward and to the left, it's kind of weird. You can go backwards and to the right. Or backwards and to the left. Really, any direction. Okay, at this point, we can go ahead and switch back to whatever combat mode is comfortable for us. For me, that's advanced hold. But remember, we do need to hold the aim key or button if you want to have Lara hold her weapons like that. 
The last thing we need to talk about is the final jump. After you finish a jump chain, you can actually choose what type of jump that you want for the final jump. For example, you can do like a front flip like this, you can do a swan dive, you can do like the fall damage cancel glitch, which I'm going to show you in a second. Basically, you want to jump um, with your weapons out and right before she hits the ground, you're going to switch weapons and then tap grapple and the fall damage will be cancelled. So, that's pretty much how you do bug jumps with um, a gamepad. That's still not everything you need to know about bug jumps though. After I show you how to do them with keyboard and mouse, I'm still going to give you some very important tips, so stay with me. Alright, let's learn how to do bug jumps with a mouse and a keyboard this time. As I told you guys earlier, I don't really use keyboard and mouse to play these games, but fellow Tomb Runner Rift does, and he's the one who came up with the key bindings that I'm going to be using here. So, thank you very much, Rift. Um, again, first thing we're going to do is go to Options, then Control, and we're going to switch our combat mode to Advanced Toggle. Again, this is not mandatory, we're just doing this um, so that we only need to tap the right mouse button instead of hold it, which is going to be, um, you know, useful later because we don't want to get overwhelmed with inputs, right? So, we just tap the right mouse button and she's going to hold her weapons like this. Now we need to choose the direction that we want to go. We'll go forward because we want to see where we're going, right? Next we need to jump and we're going to tap space to jump like this. After that we want to switch weapons and we're going to use F, the F key for that, so... Again, tap the right mouse button, hold forward, jump with space and then tap F to switch weapons, looks like this. And finally, we're going to use the magnetic grapple, using the left mouse button. Now, this is not what we want to do. What we want to do is to double tap it so that we can cancel this whole animation. So, again, tap the right mouse button, hold forward, jump with space, switch weapons with F, and then double tap the left mouse button to use the grapple and then cancel the animation, so this is what it looks like. And this is one bug jump cycle, so what we can do is go ahead and repeat it, like this. Now what's the timing for this, right? Again, if you're not too slow, um, the game is actually a little bit forgiving, so you can do it slower like this, or you can do it faster. Doesn't really matter all that much. Alright, just like um, in the controller method, we can actually do sideways bug jumping like this. And she moves like quite fast in Tomb Raider Legend compared to Anniversary, as you can see here. You can do backwards, even though it's kind of slow. You can do it diagonally if you want to. You know, just any direction that you want, really. Okay, so, as I told you guys earlier, we used Advanced Toggle just for learning purposes, so if you want to, you can go ahead and switch back to whatever combat mode is more comfortable for you, and for me that's Advanced Hold, so... Just remember that um, we do need to hold the right mouse button if we do that, if we're not on Advanced Toggle anymore. Okay, so... Um, lastly, we need to learn how to perform the final jump, so, again, uh, when you finish a chain of jumps, you can actually choose the type of jump that you want for the final jump, for example. You can do, like, a standard jump like this, you can do a swan dive, you can do the fall damage, can't, what? 
Okay, thanks. Um, you can do the fall damage cancel glitch. And this is how it works. Basically, you jump, holding your weapons, and then right before she hits the ground, you switch weapons and tap grapple. So, that's how you cancel the fall damage. So, that's how you do bug jumps with keyboard and mouse. Um, there are still some things you need to know about bug jumps, so... I'm going to answer some of the questions that you guys have submitted and I'll give you some more tips on how you can get good at it. Can you really master this? I don't think so. The answer is yes, of course you can. And I have a tip for you. If you really want to learn how to do this, please do not get discouraged if you fail it the first few times. Bug jumping is not a matter of knowing which keys to press, it's actually about teaching your brain how to do it automatically so you don't have to think about it. It's just like speaking, right? When you speak, you're not like, okay, I'm going to speak now. First, I need to open my mouth, now I need to move my tongue. Like, that's not how it works, is it? You just speak. So, if you want to get to a speaking level of bug jumping, if you catch my drift, just patiently teach your brain step by step how to do it, and then eventually it becomes second nature to you. Try Underworld? Yes, I have tried this in Tomb Raider Underworld, and unfortunately it doesn't work because Lara doesn't use her grapple gun after you switch weapons in mid-air. And also, the grappling animation cannot be cancelled, even if you double tap the grapple key, so... As broken as this game is, we won't be able to break it any further for now. Unfortunately. Does it work on PS3? Does it work on PSP? Does it work on Android? Well, yes and no. Besides the PC version, I've tried to do bug jumps on the PS2 and PS3 versions. Bug jumps work the same way on both. And I've also tried the Nintendo Wii and the PSP versions. You can easily perform double jumps on all of them, as you can see here. The problem is, since we need high frame rate to do unlimited, infinite bug jumps, and these versions run at like 30 or 60 FPS, you're really only going to be able to perform double jumps consistently on these versions. On the PS2 slash PS3, you can technically perform multiple jumps, but it's super difficult to do, like, it requires nearly frame-perfect inputs, so it's really not worth it. Please do not waste your precious time trying to do more than two jumps on these versions. It would be similar to trying to do them on a PC with VSync on and lower frame rate. On the Nintendo Wii and PSP versions, the grappling animation cannot be cancelled, so it is actually impossible to do more than two jumps. Well, while I was messing around with the Nintendo Wii version, I was in fact able to cancel the grappling animation a few times, kind of by accident. I don't quite know why it happened, but yet again, we can't raise the frame rate on these versions, so stick to the double jump and you'll be fine. By the way, the fall damage cancel glitch works on all these versions. I wish this worked in real life too. I mean, all you need is two sets of weapons, a good front flip, and a grappling hook with a metal cable that literally comes out of nowhere. Just try it out, who knows? I've been trying this for months and never got it working. Used useless assassin's keybinds, never helped. Using gamepad, also never helped. Had V-Sync off, I tried everything. Well, if you are playing on the PC version and you're monitoring your frame rate and you're absolutely sure you're at over 120 FPS at least and it's still not working, I have yet one more tip for you if you want to make it simpler. You can go ahead and just drop the movement buttons altogether and practice only doing, you know, standing jumps. Lara is not gonna go anywhere by doing this, but if you just forget about the direction buttons, that means one less button you need to hold. And if you're on advanced toggle mode, that means you'll be dealing with only three inputs now. Jump, switch weapons, and grapple. 
You can do that to practice, then you can add the directions once you get the hang of it. I hope it helps. Also, keep in mind that standing jumps will only work in Tomb Raider Anniversary. If you try to do it in Legend, Lara's only going to jump once. So, how do you do Nippon's bug jump without weapon change? Alright, let's talk about Nippon's method. Nippon was a Chinese runner who found a way to perform bug jumps without needing to switch weapons. This is particularly useful at the beginning of these games because you start with only the dual pistols and you have no other weapons to switch to. So, here's how it works. Again, we're going to switch our combat mode. But this time, we're going to switch it to advanced hold. Manual and advanced toggle are not going to help us this time. So here's the thing. There are actually two variations of that front flip that she does when she's holding her weapons. You know, there's the regular one. You just choose a direction, then hold aim, and then jump, like this. And there's actually this variation. And to do it, you're going to, again, choose a direction. But instead of holding aim, you're actually going to tap aim and then press jump right after you have let go of aim. So, it looks like this. The timing for this is a little bit weird, like, you need to play around with it for a while before you kind of figure it out, because if you press jump too late, this will happen and it's not gonna work. But if you try to rush it and do it too fast, you may accidentally press jump while you're still holding aim, and it's not gonna work either. She's just gonna do her regular front flip instead. However, if it works, you can see that she kind of throws her hands up in the air like that. Also, she stops for a moment before she starts running again. So, this is the type of jump that we need for this bug jump method. Usually, when we're bug jumping, we switch weapons after we jump, right? Well, for this method, we are actually going to skip that step. And, like, even if I wanted to switch weapons, I wouldn't be able to because I don't have any other weapons, so... Um, we don't actually need to do that we're going to go straight to using the grappling hook after we jump. So, the full sequence is this. First, we hold up, or whatever direction that we want. Then, we're going to tap aim. Then, press jump right after we have let go of aim. We're going to use the grappling hook. And then, jump again. So, this is what it looks like. Well, this is how we do double jumps with this method. Technically, after we jump the first time, instead of tapping grapple only once, we could double tap it, then tap aim again, then press jump after we have let go of aim, and then repeat the process over and over again and keep jumping. However, the timing for all of this is so strict and precise that it's very, very difficult to perform more than two jumps in a row. For this video, I wanted to record a relatively longer chain of jumps using this method just to show you guys, and the maximum amount of jumps I was able to pull off was 4, and that was after like 40 minutes trying. Well, so, just a little warning, if you see somebody running this game and jumping over and over again endlessly using this method, you might want to be on your, you know, guard because it may or may not be scripted. I don't know, just a possibility. You know, just watch out for that. <laughs> Alright, back to standard infinite bug jumps. How much can you jump with this glitch? 
The good news is, it doesn't really have a limit. You can keep jumping and keep jumping as long as your hands can handle. Or as long as your controller or your mouse can handle. Man, your fingers must hurt after that flying. Your hand muscles must be super swollen. Tell your right hand to get some well-deserved rest. Guys, if you're just casually playing around with it for a relatively short time, you probably don't need to worry about it. But if you want to take this a step further and do speedruns with it, or if you're going to do it for a longer period of time, please, please make sure you warm up your hands before you start, okay? Especially your right hand. This is really important because bug jumps are going to wreck your right hand if you do it over and over again for a very long time. Um, if you're playing with a gamepad, you may get pain around your ring finger area. Like I said, I don't use a mouse, but if you're using it, I think it's your wrist that will suffer the most. So, If you're going to do a lot of bug jumping, do some stretches, wave your hands, massage your ring finger area and your wrist, Start slow, don't push yourself too hard, and you should be fine. Whoops. Satellite feed showing your train's about to roll. You better run. Fast. Fly mod? I'm pretty sure you can easily find fly mods for these games on the internet. I've personally never used any of those, but bug jumps do not require any mods or any hacks or cheats or anything like that. Just turn V-Sync off and be happy. Do you ever plan to make a full Tomb Raider Legend or Tomb Raider Anniversary run using bug jumps? Absolutely, I'm going to do that like very soon. So if you want to, you can follow me on my Twitch channel in case you want to watch it live. The link is in the description. I'll probably work on improving my no bug jump record for Anniversary first and then I'll go straight to any percent with bug jumps. And if you're coming from the future and I did manage to get good enough records, I'll leave them linked for you as well. So, that is it for the updated bug jump tutorial. If you hadn't done bug jumps before and decided to give it a try, let me know if it worked for you. I'd really like to know if I actually did help you with this video. Um, if you still have any questions that I haven't answered yet, feel free to leave them down below. I'll do my best to help. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day! Don't you think you've seen enough?